Hey, dude. Yeehaw! What's up, everybody? This is Zilly Burtball, and I'm back to playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the online beta, and, um, well, uh, from just a skimming on the internet, uh, I don't think a lot of positives about online beta. Hey, you know what? I got my phone right here. And this is the beauty. Uh, I better shut that off. So let's see. Let's uh, let's just do a quick little skimming on the internet and see what it says about online beta. Hey, dude. Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And the output, seriously. Online beta. Got to be really specific. Let's see, here. updates outline. Game will remain in beta for now. Why? Red Dead Redemption 2 is getting a Fortnite style battle royale mode. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I, I'm just, I'm just one of the best sharp shooters on Fortnite. No, I don't play Fortnite because I suck. <laughs> Got my butt handed me too many times. Alright, so I'm not seeing any, you know, uh, like, percentile what people rate this game. Let's see. Uh, off to a really good start here. Right, let's try Red Dead Online Beta Feedback. Let's see. Okay, well, unless I click on a certain article to read it, they're not giving, like, any... Okay, well, I don't feel much like reading all these individual articles, so... Guess I'm just going to experience it for myself. So, let's settle up, y'all. Let's see how much fun this here is going to be. And, uh, great. I can't see what the hell because of my big ass freaking head square. Uh, I like the policy to read. The end user license to turn. You can't frickin' be serious. Do I really have to read any of that? Because I really don't want to. Can I skip it? And just say I did read it? It's a little wide and a little strange when you make your home out on the range. Can, can I bypass all this? There's a, uh, you know, some point I want to play. Uh, real quick. Now that I got the time. Oh, never mind. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. Choose a character. Well, do I want to be male? 
Or do I want to be female? I'll right, we'll make this easy. I'm going to close my eyes and we'll let fate decide. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a warthog by its snout. If it's leaky, you better let it go. Go burn your hand, cause oh my gosh, you's disgusting. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, guess I'm going to be the man character. Nope, screw that. It's got to be one. I'm gender confused. <laughs> Let's go with the female character. I at least want to stare at something pretty. Okay, you. Head through there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm going to need your details. Honey, what in the world happened to you? You look like two miles of bad road. All right, enter name. What shall we name you? You aren't going anywhere, and neither am I. You know what? I'm gonna name her after a friend of mine, hey, and give her a shout out too. Uh, shout out to Rosa. Her PlayStation name is Tomboy Princess Row. If you want a friend who will give you that swift kick in the ass that you need to get the hell over your diaper baby bitchin' self, she's the one to do it. I appreciate everything she does for me as a friend. And that's why I'm going to make this character, name it after her, and try to make this the baddest woman in the West. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. Quite a record we'll have on you. Hmm. Rosa Thorne. Yeah, let's get a little more creative. You're lucky you let's were caught, see. You know, the way the town Rosa. You were likely to be shot. Let's make it a little more zazzy, too. Root. Rosa. Rosa the Thorn. Of course, that makes her sound more French. She's a Puerto Rican descent. But she's also got some that? Irish in her, too, from what I've gathered. I got a lot more to learn about her as a friend. Rosa. 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 Rosa Thorn? Let's just go with that. Rosa Thorn. Like, Rose Thorn. Thorn on a rose. You idiot. Yep. There we go. Rosa Thorn. Pretty as a rose, but sharp and steamy as a thorn. Yeah, there you go. Let's add an E after it. Get real articulate. There we go. Rosa Thorn. Like it. Like it, like it, like it. Alright, appearance. Oh, oh crap. Headphones are falling off. Headphones are falling off. Let's see. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Yeah, a little more stern look. That's kind of sternish. What the frick?
I forget, wasn't that the face she started with? Or was that it? I don't remember. I think that was the face she started with, but wasn't her skin a little more darker? Oh well. Uh, I think I'll just stick with that. Age. Well, she's currently 26. Body build. Heavy. So, when you mean heavy, muscle heavy or fat heavy? Brawny. Well, yeah. The Rosa I know, not exactly upper brawny. Skinny, athletic, average. We could just say average. Let me see the brawny again. <laughs> <laughs> A little she hawk thing going here. She's just gonna poo. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's give her a little brawn. I don't know why, I kind of like seeing her with the broad shoulders. Eyes and brows. Well, that ain't just the meanest look ever uh, furled, of course. Let's see, carefree, neutral, narrow, broad, furrowed. Yeah, let's go with furrow. No stand why turned up hooked neutral thin right, I'll just stick with thin mouth and lips low high Samucher <laughs> Small Neutral Let's go with the high Yeah yeah she looking a little more fierce Jaw and chin. Yeah, it's going narrow. Okay. Oh, jeez, Louise. Ears. Neutral. Lord, I can't really frickin' tell. Let's go in neutral. Cheeks. Wow, damn! <laughs> oh my god, if that ain't the most psychotic, sadistic looking face and smile I've ever known to see. <laughs> yeah! Ow. And they invent toothpaste yet back in these days, cause honey, either you've got corn in your mouth or your teeth are seriously discolored. Yeah. Plum wore out. Oh God, the hayseed, the long dead. <laughs> Dear God. Oh Jesus. Yee. Well, let, let's just stick with chompers. Hair. Let's see. Pomba Pombador? Pombador? Juke girl. Ching. 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 Non. Full curly ponytail. Coned layers. Pigtails. <laughs> ah! ah! Back to the pompadour. I guess we might just go with that. I'm just gonna stick with that. What's the next one? Mm. 
Yeah, let's go with that. Hair color. Oh, okay. Let's go with that. Okay, now what do I do? Lifestyle. What the heck is this? Skin molting? Skin motling? What the heck is motling? Oh, for crying out loud, how she's technical are we going to get with this? You know what? She she's she's fine. She's fine just as she looks. Complexion, freckles, moles, spots, scar. Okay, we'll give her a scar. Where's the scar? There, no moles. But we will give her. There, no spots. All right, we will give her a scar. One, two, three, four, five. That's a huge idiot, Brian. Okay, six, seven. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Let's see. I don't know why I kind of like that one. Alright, let's go with that one. Oh, jeez, Lou, frickin' Louise, makeup. Oh, foundation, blusher, eyeshadow, eyeshadow color, lipstick, lipstick color, oh, dear lord. Okay, yes, I think I'm done. I'm done. Can we move on, please? Oh, you gotta be freaking good. Okay, now where can I go to say I'm done? Whistle. <laughs> what? 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 I got whistle? Really? Really? Oh dear lord. Can I hear it?
whistle. Really? Attributes. Okay. Uh, ah, I see. Give a little and take a little. Some months later. Siska Penitentiary, female Wayne. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on, get moving. Heh, <laughs> mutton chops. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Tumbleweed. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Yeah. Red Dead Online. Hey, dude. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. Fuck you, asshole. You, you know, made my us wife talk. My has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, yeah, I'm against women in their books. <laughs> women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. <laughs> Doesn't add well, much. Well, you just sound like a miserable old prick. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. You're, you're going to die. To the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was? Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. 
I like to just stand around, look tough, and get 50 bucks. Who wouldn't? Oh, yeah, I think I made this one look good. She looks like that type you don't want to fuck with on a back alley. Follow the stranger. Not much of an animal. How are you gonna say that about a noble horse? I like to learn how to ride a horse. Not too crazy about getting bucked by one. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months <laughs> the century. His name is Mr. Horley. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's funny. Oh, uh, your name is Mr. Horley, huh? And am I supposed to be your new whore? I think I should get the gun ready. In body or in spirit. I hope I am right. Founding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite do. Ain't much see. different. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. I should apologize to Mr. Horley. I'm really not paying much of attention to what the hell he's saying at all. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. So if I just hold X, she'll automatically follow the path, and I don't have to really use the control stick. Oh, games today. Games today. At some point, you know, you don't even have to do anything. Holding triangle and next to a hitching post or tree will hitch your horse to it. This will stop the horse Come from on, wandering. This way. She's anxious to meet you. How anxious? Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. <laughs> you didn't exactly well, tell me nothing. I haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think she kind of looks better with no hat, honestly. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with a stalker hat for now. Ooh, banana.
that looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are, the people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate Jeremiah was a Shaw man. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife. Society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet, get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. Yes. <laughs> I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Just Rips. as you say that. Get up. Ooh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. <laughs> J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? Madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Mm, scrawny nag. I'm sure you're tired. Get this done and you can rest. And do let me guess, my face is right where the map is, ain't it? Alright, un momento, I gotta make a little change.
Saddles, she wore the shining star. to hit you up. Oh, here. Can I hit you here? Hello. Hey, hello. You uh, You must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. All that. that <laughs> but Horley insisted you was a... Good afraid. first impression. I'm very discouraged, you see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Sort of. <laughs> I find your reticence charming. Real charming. I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up near Gat Tooth Ridge. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. 
The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. Go to the Rio Bravo. Wasn't that a John Wayne film? Sure is a whole lot of nothing going on. Take out the outlaws. Oh shit, so was I not supposed to walk up on them? Uh, you guys don't know I'm here. You ain't seen nothing. Uh, where, where can I... Can I hit you up somewhere, girl? Uh, I, don't, I don't want you to wander off. This, uh... Okay, uh... Oh, oh shit, oh shit, Did, is he coming? Is he, does he see me? Does he see me? Oh shit, he gonna see me now. Okay, uh, how do I, how do I shoot? I do not remember how to shoot. Okay, select my gun here. There's the aim, and I'm assuming shoot is either R1 or AR2. So hey, let's go find out. <laughs> I can't believe I just walk right up in there and nobody turns around, guns a blazing. And why is he jerking off? What the hell? How many rounds can you take, senor? You dang gone some bitch. Are you kidding me? You's getting tangled up with a bunch of freaking brush? your friend take this it's a map just be kind don't kill me please
Okay. So, this area? Or over there? My horse is way over there by now. Star away. Wow, horses. My horse's stamina is running out. Let's see, where can I look for uh, items? Nope, that ain't it. another little box. <whistles> this drug is rich, girl. Now, what's this over here? 
Oh, that was my wave point. Okay, now what? Wait, come back here, you crazy cat. What the heck are you coming over here for, then? Okay. Um. What do I do now? No, seriously. What? What? What do I do now? Oh, what the? Tumbleweed, a once bustling new Austin town that has been on the decline ever since they built the railroad to nearby Armadillo. Tumbleweed is dominated by the overbearing and draconian Sheriff Freeman, who dispenses frontier justice very forcibly. Okay, so, um, what do I do now? I've got the treasure, but... Oh, hold it. Open the weapon wheel. Okay. Weapons. Item. Horse. View. The ability. Loadout menu. Dead eye card. The effects of this card will be active while in dead eye. Okay. A moment to recuperate one. While Dead Eye is active, you slowly regenerate health. Taking any damage will cancel Dead Eye. Okay. Clay Davies. Okay, do I have any rations on me? Because this horse's stamina is about kaput. There we go. <sighs> T 
tumbleweed. Oh boy. Yo ho rattling bog the bug down in the valley, yo. Yo ho rattling bog the bug down in the valley, yo. Pig! Bacon! Wendy's Baconator! Ah shit, we already exhausted the stamina again. Yo ho, the rattling bog, the bug down in the valley, yo! Yo ho, the rattling bog, the bug down in the valley, yo! Then this bog down was a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree! Tree in the bog, and the bog down in the rally, yo! Oh my goodness! <clears throat> choice. What do you want, girl? Hmm? What are you doing, silly cat? Again. <laughs> yeah, you look like a Bob. rat. I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out at Raskeller Fork with a bunch of horses they stole from me. Well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was going to steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look. Here are your friends. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at Tumbleweed once you have the horse flesh. And I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. Because they're one-sided and in my brother. favor. Let's go, Clive.
Glitch, glitch, glitch. Horse going ape shit. Horse digging into the ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my obliged you're even waiting up, partner. Hello, good sir. What's your business? Oh, shit. You better get on out of here, girl. I'm about to get nasty. much more fun when you're doing something in it. Ooh, cool. He's just stealing a horse. Sorry. I think your my horse is taking a fancy to yours. guys got the right idea just keep running and don't look like <laughs> let's just make them eat our dust oh shit my horse's stamina is getting dangerously low it's every man woman horse for themselves <laughs> Jump that last fucking f hitching fancy, you serious girl? I still beat y'all. Well, 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 Horley was right about you, dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. Damn it, Clive, why can't you just be Here's useful? Money you earn. Now listen, Horley came by. Can I keep the horse? He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meet. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. Thirty minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. Yeah, exactly. I will climb. Whoa! Whoa! What's with the race car comment? Buy any extras or sundries for the animal? Head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. What the hell? <laughs> what? What do you want, cat? Come over here. You want me to pet you? You come over here, then. Crazy 
furball. Well... Can't edit the horse's appearance yet. Poo. Rename your horse. What do I want to name my horse? Hmm. Thinking, I'm thinking, uh, what's a good name for you? Hmm. Bronze Star? Bronzer? Mr. Red? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Ed was a white horse. Long face. <laughs> Uh, I got a bunch of names running through. I just cannot settle on one. Brown sugar. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I can't settle on nothing. Hmm. <laughs> I know, I know, boy, girl. I'm not really sure what gender you are.
Okay. Oh, what the? Hey, hey. What what happened? Okay, I think I'm either going to settle on Bronze Star or Brown Sugar. Or Brownie. Of course, he don't look a whole lot like a chocolate, does he? Nah. Nah, he does look more like a bronze. Alright. I got one. <laughs> we'll see how many get the joke. We're gonna call him Long Shot. <laughs> um, terrible human being. Long Shot. <laughs> Short horses will automatically begin to heal if critically injured. I got money for that. Turn to pre horse horses shit. Oh, cool. I had a coupon. So does that mean I've got horse insurance? I guess so. And finally, fully restores all horse cares cores and yields gold cores. Okay. Sure wish I could see what these are running. Oh, okay. Uh, I ain't got the money anyway, so... Uh, quality stirrups increase your horse's speed and acceleration and provide a stamina drain rate reduction. The 
equip a saddle horn. Oh, or, okay. Equip a blankie. Bed rolls. Okay. Long shot. <laughs> Let's go meet Cripsy. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Quite the scenery. Yeah. Whoop, almost ran over the rabbits. <laughs> to point A. What you think you doing, nosy? camp. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good horse? Who's a good horse? You're the good horse. That's right. Now, uh, I think I just need to get back up on you and uh, hit you because I did not do that right. Did I go on this side to hit you? There we go. There we go. I bet it's just that easy to hit your horse, right? You just fling, fling the thingy over the post and it wraps itself around and instantly ties in a knot. Where's my tent? <laughs> How do you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, a slime bucket. <laughs> yeah, you and me anyway, both. I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with 
employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you listen to him, I guess. You know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a yes. very Oh, look, I was just shaking her head, like, yeah, home. okay, whatever, Make crazy old home. geezer. Your home. Okay. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, ancient Nevada, folks. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, Texas. <laughs> Break out, shake out. <laughs> I can't see the damn thing. Ah, can't win. <laughs> Change your walk style, boy. That was really grasping at straws. what the heck all my options are so anyone who watches this uh thank you so this is early Babel <laughs> what did I just say <laughs> oh man yep uh, I think it's time to turn it on in and hit the hay so y'all have a nice day now you hear here